Davey 3 on defeat here in Lanarkshire. Give us your thoughts after that one. I think we're lucky to be coming away for here 3 1. I thought the first half was shambolic. I thought it was terrible. Um, I need to, I, I need to apologise to the fans. I don't think that first half shown is a true reflection of where we are, albeit some will say we are, but I think the performances over the last probably five, six games have been no bad, a couple of clean sheets, and then to go out and perform like that, I think shambolic. And I think I've been pretty honest and took a lot of responsibility and a lot of try to take the pressure off the players, but see that one today, that, that is one million percent on the players. And I'm not trying to have solved myself any any responsibility. But that first half shown was terrible. Absolutely terrible. And you can talk about game plans, formations, tactics. It's all crap. It's all crap if you go out and defend like that. And boys make individual errors. Individual errors lost us that game of football today. It made the game very frantic. It made the game very erratic. Motherwell looked so much better than us. I don't think they are, but they looked so much better than us. And to come away for that today, because defensively I thought we've been quite good in games, if I'm honest, even at Parkhead. Limited them to very little, but today, today, as a defensive unit, I thought it was shambolic. How frustrating is that? As you said, the performances have been much better. Kind of getting better, we're just missing that result, but then we come today and... I think I've been coming away from most games probably putting a wee bit of pressure on the top end of the park. You need to do more, you need to do more. Today, the top end of the park got nothing. They got nothing. I don't think they had a lot of service. I think it was all long balls. But I'll caveat that way with the defensive unit today. Really, really. They looked like a group of players that had been thrown together and had never played together. I thought, honestly, that's how bad it was. It's one of the worst performances I've seen for a back three. I changed it very, very quickly at a back four to try and give us that overload. They, were a, they bounced into a three, three v three ways and I changed the early doors before the goal. He um, gave us that overload in a four v three, but I don't think it rectified the problem. It was three so pretty soft goals to lose as well. How, how have you kind of summed that up with the players? I think they've got to take responsibility. I feel sorry at times for certain players on the park because what can you do when that happens? This should be a one each, something, something along the lines. We're lucky to be standing here with a 3-1 defeat because honestly, we should have probably been doing two or three goals down before the first goal went in. So we're lucky, but I think it's now down to individuals taking responsibility. One of the kind of positives of the first half is Scott Pittman's goal yeah. that kind of got us back in, but say 10 minutes later again, another... Individual error. Error with the pass in the middle of the park and then getting caught from there. It's like I don't know where it's coming from. I think everybody could see the way they were set up. You're not trying to play the balls. You're playing it in behind. I don't think Murrowell strung four or five passes ago, but they were three goals up. Well, two goals, three, one. They got out of the centre backs. They banged it up to their front three. Their front three looked after it. Our back four allowed them to look after it. We tried to be a wee bit similar. I don't think it was a day for conducive for football just to get the ball down and play. But for some reason, we were trying to get the ball down. We were trying to get the ball down and play in areas of the park where it wasn't on. Obviously, it's um, two points now from a possible 36, which has Shocking. been there. Which... Is that how bad it is? Shocking. Isn't good enough for this, this football club at the moment, is it? No, it's not good enough for anybody. It's not good enough for any football club. I've got to take that responsibility, but I think we're at a stage in the season where the players are now going to take a wee bit more responsibility. That's a shocking start. I can only apologise to the fans, but I want the fans to know me and my staff are doing everything we can. We're hopefully going to try and bring another two or three players into the building to try and really help the group, but... At this point in time, that, 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 that stat's absolutely shocking. And I can only apologise to the fans. Obviously, you've covered there that we might get a, a few new, try and get a few faces in. Does that mean a couple will be seeing the exit door as well? I wish. We've probably got a group of four or five that are happy just to be Livingston players. And that's the problem. You've got 15 out of contract next year. Going into this season with 15 out of contract. So it's probably four or five that... Does it mean as much to them if we're not in this league next year? I'll be honest with you, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. You've then got another two or three, or, well, I'm not playing, so I want to go elsewhere and play. Then you've got another 
four or five that are quite happy to call themselves Livingston players and turn up to training every day and not being match day squads. So it's a difficult balance. It's easier said than doing, moving them on for the building. Moving to Hearts on Tuesday night, it's got to hope it's a kind of isolated performance and the players come out fighting and show them what they actually can do. God, I, don't, I don't care, they have got to come out and do more than that. Got to come out and do more than that. They've got to come out and show the fans that they actually care. Because I can tell you one thing, every single member of the staff do everything we can at this football club to make sure we stay in this Premier League. But do you know what, the, the players always are performance on Tuesday night, they always won. There was kind of 250 or so travelling fans here today that... What is your kind of final message to them? Apology. I apologise to them because it's not the standards I expect, it's not the standards me and the staff set. And I, I'm really a wee bit perplexed in that first half performance, if I'm honest, because I don't think there was signs of that in previous games. We've came away with two clean sheets in previous games, we went to Parkhead, yeah, we lost with two goals, but I think the defensive performance was there. We went to Aberdeen, I thought it was very similar, I thought it was a half-decent performance, we've done with the top end of the park, but defensively I thought we were solid. Today, we were miles off it, miles off it, but I think back four, back three, back five at times, we've got to take a lot of, a lot of accountability for that performance.